Wow, that was actually kind of good. Alright, I'm just gonna get this out of the way right now. I am not a massive fan of Teen Titans Go. I'm certainly not on board with the whole Teen Titans Go must die hate train, but I definitely don't watch the show religiously or even that often. I can easily point to a few episodes like video game references, the colors of Raven, and even the pilot that I can say were pretty fun to watch, but in the grand scheme of things, I'd personally just recommend the original Titans cartoon as that one did a much better job at pretty much everything. So you can imagine my indifference when I found out that Teen Titans Go was getting its own movie. I wasn't going to bash it or anything, but since I didn't care for the show in the same way I cared for Spongebob or MLP, I wasn't really planning on seeing it. And the first trailer just further enforced the whole meh attitude that I had towards it. I mean that Wonder Woman joke at the beginning was pretty funny, as well as the Aquaman one at the end, but 50% of it was just an overly long fart joke, and not a very good one either. So yeah, still not much interest after that. But then... Everything changed when the second trailer attacked. It included a decent plot concept, some really funny jokes, and even some potential for character depth. Yeah, this was the same movie that was announced with this. <laughs> he farted. That wasn't a fart. That was just air leaving my butt. I still can't believe it either. The second Teen Titans Go to the Movie trailer got me legitimately excited for the film. And most of that stems from one single aspect. It's self-aware tone. When compared to the original Teen Titans, the Go Titans are completely useless as superheroes. They spend less time stopping crime and more time just screwing around like immature little kids. And it seems like this movie is going to call them out on that at every opportunity. Saying things like, we only make movies about real superheroes. Pointing out the fact that they never actually stopped any crimes. Having tons of famous heroes laughing in their faces. Making fun of their stupid antics from previous episodes while simultaneously making callbacks to them. Yes? Yes, yes! This is the ideal premise for a movie about these guys because not only can it lead to some great humor possibilities, but some great character possibilities too. Just look at Robin in this trailer. When he finally gets called out for how useless him and his team are, it looks like it hits him like a truck. Like we can really be getting into some actual character growth from him and I'm really looking forward to it. But the self-aware humor doesn't stop there. We get cracks at the Green Lantern movie, a joke about how Deadpool pretty much ripped off Slade, some subtle background gags like calling Batman v Superman the yawn of justice, and the awesome mislead with the Alfred trailer at the beginning. This trailer had me laughing and giggling a lot. And considering this is likely going to be based mostly on comedy, that's a really, really good sign. And of course, we have the fact that Slade, arguably Teen Titans' best villain, is going to be the main antagonist. This not only excites me because I love the character, and because the scenes with him in this trailer are really funny, but because with him came something that the Teen Titans Go cartoon was severely lacking in. <gasps> Action scenes in a superhero cartoon? Nah, nah, go back to them sitting on the couch or waiting for the bathroom, that's what we really want to see. All things considered, when you combine everything that we're shown here, I'm honestly legitimately excited for this film. The fact that the Titans are torn down by some real superheroes is effective for both comedy and drama, the jokes are plentiful and varied from what we're shown, there aren't really any immature or cringeworthy moments to be found, heck, they completely removed that fart gag from the first trailer, and it seems like whoever's working on this film is going to take it in the best possible direction. This trailer gives me the vibes of the Lego Batman movie with the 2D paint job, and while I doubt it'll be as good as that movie, there's always hope that it'll at least be decent. Considering that the movie won't come out until late July, I can't say for sure what it'll be like yet, but for the time being, I actually think I'm gonna go see it. In the end, maybe I'll do a victory lap or maybe I'll eat my words, but regardless, I think it does deserve a chance. Hard to tell where this movie will go from here, but I'm gonna stay positive. So what did you all think of the trailer? Did it intrigue you, anger you, leave you with an indifferent feeling? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in everybody, and I hope to see you all real soon.